boy, it becomes like a problem, right? <laughs> Doing these Newton uh, unit analysis things. And then what happens here? Meter cancel with a meter. Amp, oh, what's the definition of an amp? Coulomb per second, all right? And then there's this second. This second goes up to the top. Coulomb is a Coulomb. Meter is left. And a Newton is left. Ah, beautiful. Oh, right? Look what's going to happen. Coulomb, Coulomb, second, second. Newton meter is a joule. You see? So whenever there's equations and or definitions, always check, do some unit analysis, and try to make sense out of it. OK, now I want to show you a real life kind of example of how this could be used and illustrated. So right here, you have uh, two magnets that are producing a magnetic field. OK? And what I'm going to try to do, you see these uh, Coils here, there's two coils, so I'm going to hook up a power supply to them and get, get a current going through them, right? When I get current going through those, then they become like a coil carrying current, right? But the way that this is intended is that every time it goes around half a loop, the direction of the current switches, okay? So if you look more in-depthly, you can see that there's a, a iron uh, pieces here. Then it, it, it's cut in half. So every time it turns, the direction of the current switches. So it's kind of like an AC current, you know, every half a loop. So look what happens here. OK, now, notice I hooked it up. I'm going to turn it on. Right now, what's happening? There's a coil like that. Nothing. Mr. K, what's going on here? It's not working, Mr. K. Well, why? Because which direction are the coils? See, the two magnets are like this now, and the magnetic field is like this. The coils are like that, right? And the magnetic, field, uh, the, the, the magnetic moment of the coil is also like that. So right now, they're aligned. If they're aligned, there's no torque. So I have to give it a little kick. So I come like this with my finger. Give it a little kick. Now, once I give it the little kick, then it does the rest because now it's going to start spinning it. And since the... Magnetic, uh, since the current is changing direction every half a cycle, it just keeps going. And now I've created a motor from this. If I want to make a stronger motor, get more current. Get more current. No? Oh, it's. It was, I heard, I smelled something there. I shouldn't get too much current. Yeah. Oh, yeah? It's warmed up kind of too much. Yeah, but you, you see the idea of it's nice to see this one because now you can actually visualize what we mean when we say torque. You know, it actually makes it go around. And then when you change, when you switch the direction of, so imagine like as soon as this went from here to here, then I switch the direction of the current. Then it goes this way, you see. Then I switch the direction of the current, it goes this way. Then it goes this way. And then, so you can keep the thing the whole loop going. 